Hey, hey, it's Jason, a.k.a. The Lincoln Addict. ODB, a.k.a. The Lincoln Addict. I'm up here at John's place in outside of the Pittsburgh area, also known as Steak and Lincoln. Many of you guys know him. And anytime I come up here to Pittsburgh, where my wife's family's from, I always try to come through. Good thing is today was only like 15 minutes away. And, uh, man, it's an awesome summer day. Always enjoy the hospitality that John, uh, you know, offers up. It's got some cool stuff. I'll show you a few things. And we got a special one that's leaving today uh, to a guy that just picked up a really rare car that's tied to, um, you know, someone big in, in the golf world. So uh, let me kind of run down here a little bit and what you guys uh, will see here. Got this pretty cool vert. First thing I saw when I pulled up, maybe the second thing. Kind of just has that as we call the ratty feel to it. Real nice car, don't get me wrong, but uh, just just a real like kind of patina interior. I love this, this is my style right here. Now, of course you got John's trailer here. This is what makes him money. He's obviously always out hustling, finding deals. He's got his little cover there. Got this beauty now i don't know the history on this one john's um been tied up a little bit here talking with his client but uh, john always has cool stuff and many of you have done business with him or you know of his page stinking lincoln i did a couple videos from here before now this uh mamba jamo i talked to him when i had him on the podcast uh 64 bagged and you're going to see our friends, the Raddies. Big ups to them on Instagram, Facebook, closed page they have. And you can see the interior. Again, I like the interior like this. Mine will be back soon. I can't wait. My 64. I've had the parts a while, just kind of waiting on a few things. So then here you have this beautiful 64. Uh, he started this one up a little bit ago. It's so quiet. You can see it has the bucket seats. Got the optical eye. It also, I'll jump in here, has the speed control, which I think is pretty cool. You can see John always puts his sticker He's got some of this stuff for sale as well. He's got a sticker that uh, you can pick up. He always puts that kind of on his stuff. You'll see it here on the back glass as well. Got the antique tag on it. Of course, you got this killer. For now, uh, this is one of his buddies, I think, that just got here. I just met him. So he's got the 63. You can tell by the grill what year it is. It's got the stinking Lincoln. These are a few of the cars that are out here. I'll go around the side here in a minute, but uh, if you're on Facebook, look up stinking Lincoln. Instagram, same thing, S-T-I-N-K-I-N, Lincoln. He's a good dude. Um, if you've ever done business with him, he's a real straight up, straightforward guy. Uh, he's helped me in the past, and I always try to help him if he ever needs something. But he obviously has a real good clientele. He's always moving cars. Some he's reacquired. Some he's worked deals on for years. And I uh, love seeing that. love seeing his hustle. I think I met him originally in the LincolnForum.net, seeing his posts, and, of course, now with Facebook groups. He's stinking Lincoln. He always chimes in helping people out. So that's kind of what's out front. We'll go around here. That trailer right there is picking up a car that I'll show you in a few minutes. It's so this is the car Arnold Palmer 
Don't know the whole history on it. Either he was it was gifted to him or it was leased to him or was signed to him. We just, yeah, like a promotional type car, right? Uh, back in say 64. So I'm gonna do a quick walk around on it. I took some video or some photos of it. John is selling this to an awesome guy that's gonna basically um, restore it, enjoy it uh, and just keep it. And I think that's awesome. So you can kind of see here, you got the classic 64 front end. Got the contour bucket seats. See the speed control over there. John's got all the rare stuff. He's got the that awesome color rose interior. Pretty cool stuff. Um, John was telling me he worked this deal for like three years to get a whole lot of cars. And this was included in it, which is really what piqued his interest, I would think. Lincoln piece of history. And he just had out the, um, the little nameplate deals in here. One says Arnold Palmer. I'll put the photo in there that I took. Pretty cool car. So yeah, a couple other things. Uh, check this out. He's got a 64 over here. Tilt column. It's got the bucket seats in this. It's got buckets for days. Plenty of parts, parts cars, 63, got the 57 Premier, even though he isn't really into these, he had posted, I think on his business uh, Facebook page, it just was too good to pass up, so that's kind of cool, it's got the 62 over here. Pretty cool stuff. Always love seeing what John has going on. And then he's got some parts cars in the back. It's all of his, his main business. But yeah, from um, from the looks of it, you know, he, he hasn't slowed down at all since COVID just over a year ago, year and a half ago, rather. And uh, I mean, this is a beautiful spot. If you're ever in the Pittsburgh area, message him, Steak and Lincoln, try to link up with them. It's Saturday, and of course, I was like, yo, man, I'm going to be touching down. I'm going to head over. And he was like, yeah, man, cool. So I'll do another quick walk around just to kind of show you, get a little bit more content here. Uh, he's very upfront about his cars, you know, so you know what you're getting, whether, you know, your budget is like, for instance, with this, right? You know, if, if that's your budget, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll be upfront with you. And then when we were here last time, we were doing some cool videos and we posted those. And uh, John's always got cool stuff. Stinking Lincoln. So you got the yellow, the canary. Got the vert, as I mentioned earlier. Peek our head in this one again. Got his personal 64. Um, if you haven't listened to the podcast, go back and listen to Stink and Lincoln. He'll talk about this car was actually featured on a um, popular website. And there's a tie-in to that. You know, we you know we talk about that because actually I didn't realize it was from that website whenever he um until we started talking and he goes, yeah, you remember the website such and such? And I was like, yeah. And then this is his buddy that again, just got here. So yeah, man, 
Check him out, Stinkin' Lincoln, good dude. He's got parts for days, he has cars for days, and he always does an awesome job, so big ups to John. And uh, that'll conclude, I think, this video. Maybe I'll do another one. We'll see. Gotcha.